so pretty sure y'all didn't expect to see me for another couple of months because of the last time I ghosted. Anyway, I'm trying to be more consistent, so I'm doing this cute thing where I record like a ton of videos all at once and then edit them and then just like... Whoosh. So, today uh, I want to talk about something that was provoked by a certain YouTuber who tweeted some certain unkind things about trans folk, and I don't want to name names because I've decided to opt out of that drama life. I just want to like help some other folks out who may have heard people say similar things. Anyway, I'm just gonna jump right to it. Today I want to talk about what makes me a man and being male enough. And the reason I'm saying this is uh, because someone on the interwebs, who I will not mention, uh, said something about trans men who are still menstruating are still female enough at the time to be referred to as females. So I'm just here to talk to all the trans folk out there who may have seen that or may have dealt with other people saying things like that, calling your body female just because you menstruate, for example, or just because you were assigned female at birth. This is just, I guess, some trans body positivity. So here's the thing. It's nobody's business what's going on in my junk unless you plan on sleeping with me. And if you have a problem with going on in my junk, likely you are not going to be sleeping with me because I don't want to sleep with you. Here's the thing. If you look at me, you look at my face, I just want to know, is my face male? Yes, it is. My hands. These are male hands. Yes, they are, because they're attached to my body. These, these are male arms, all right? Cool, you're following me, you're getting me, you, you're with me so far. These are male shoulders, right? My junk. This is male junk. My genitals are also male, despite any surgeries I may have or not have had. Do you want to know why? Because they are attached to me, and I am male. That's it, that's all, that's, that, we're done, okay, cool, but I'll see you in another couple months. I just, I had made a similar post about this on Instagram where I was like naked and just had a little cat sticker covering my junk and I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and make a brief video about this and just sort of reaffirm anyone who feels that because they're menstruating they're still female or because they haven't had a certain bottom surgery or top surgery or anything else that they're still female because they're biologically anatomically female and it's like hey you know cool all right chill chill stop labeling my body nobody asked you it is not your place or anyone else's place to be labeling or gendering my body if i go to the doctor and they want to use anatomical terms that's fine use anatomical terms but nobody here is calling me female that's the thing even if you're using the v word to talk about my genitals you're still not calling me female there is a difference between anatomical terms and deciding to gender my body i could already hear i could just fucking hear y'all typing up about how i'm still biologically female and fucking talk to me about chromosomes please yes because obviously i'm going to read and cherish your comment i just wanted to say to anyone else who feels insecure or torn down by those stupid fucking comments that it's just you live in this body you own this body it does not own you and the same way that gender lives in our head we get to label our bodies the way that we want to. We own our bodies. I am so tired of cis people feeling like they get to decide what we are and what we are not. If you see me walking on the fucking street, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be confused about what or who I am. And that's not to say that you need to pass in order to be valid, but it's just fucking like, I swear to God, I'm just so done. I, I had one person comment on one of my Instagram photos and they saw that I was trans and they're just like, you still look like a man, you're always gonna be a man even if you cut off your penis. And I was like, I mean, thanks. Like, it's as if transphobes don't know where to go. They just, they want to tear us down, but they don't know how to do it sometimes. It's like, okay, cool. So if I was saying that I was a trans woman, you'd say that I'm always gonna be male and I look male no matter what. But if I say that I'm a trans man, then what? Do I suddenly look more female now? Like, is your comment now moot? Like, I don't... I feel like this was a lot more organized and structured in my head, and now I feel like I'm just standing here and ranting, but like, it's all right, it's cool. It's all right. We're talking, we're having a good time. So anyway, what this person was saying was that if you are not taking testosterone and you are still menstruating, that you are still female. And even if you are taking testosterone, if you are still menstruating at the time, then you are still female enough at the time to be menstruating. It doesn't work that way. 
I am on testosterone, I have alarmingly high testosterone levels, and yet I still continue to bleed occasionally because endometriosis is a thing, and you know, trigger warning, cervical cancer is a thing, and there are just, there are so many fucking reasons, there could be cysts, there are so many reasons why I could be bleeding that have nothing to do necessarily with my hormone level. So how about you stop talking out of your ass and just stay in your lane? All right, cool, just stay there. Cool, all right, don't, don't. I feel like this is all over the place, but I just want you guys to know that um, you're valid and you're male enough despite being on hormones, not being on hormones, having surgery, menstruating, not menstruating. It has nothing to do with that. Your bodily functions do not dictate your gender, you do you own your body, it does not own you, and cis people don't own you, and your freaking parents don't own you, and your partners don't own you, you own you, you decide, alright? Cool. Good talk. Anyway, that's all. Sorry again if this is another like really short video, but I just, you know, there are things I want to say, and I don't necessarily really like making long videos, because I personally don't have the attention span to watch long videos, so I feel like I should just return that favor to you. Uh, that's it, just a little short little encouraging PSA there. Alright, see you around.